What's up guys, just a guy in tech here. In today's video, I'll be trying to mount a GoPro Hero 8 over a DJI Mavic Mini. Why am I doing this? I have three reasons. The first reason being, the GoPro Hero 8 can shoot videos up to 4K resolution, whereas the Mavic Mini can shoot videos up to only 2.7K resolution. So I thought, why couldn't I just mount the GoPro Hero 8 over a DJI Mavic Mini and get some cool 4K video shots? Reason number two, I wanted to test out the Mavic Mini a little more. The Mavic Mini is a fantastic drone, but I wanted to see if I could lift off the Mavic Mini with the GoPro's weight over it. Reason number three, I'm staying home right now, so I thought I could just get a little more creative and create this basic minimalistic drone setup. So now that we know why am I doing this, let's build this thing together. Okay, so first let's go with the things that I need to complete the setup. I obviously need the DJI Mavic Mini and I need an action camera that's small enough to go over the DJI Mavic Mini. This is the only action camera that I have with me right now, so I'm using the GoPro Hero 8. The third element that I need to complete this whole setup is the fusion mount. The fusion mount lets you hook and unhook your GoPro this particular mount. And I'm choosing this particular mount because it offers a lot of stability. The fourth thing that we need to complete this whole setup is the flat mount. The flat mount is probably the most important part of the setup because this is what hooks your GoPro to the drone. And the last thing that I need to complete this whole setup is a microfiber cloth. So now that we know what all things do we need to complete this setup, let's build it. Okay, so first I take a microfiber cloth in my hand and clean the top surface of the Mavic Mini. I want to make sure that there are no tiny particles on the surface of the Mavic Mini. Once I'm sure of that, I put the microfiber cloth aside and take the flat mount in my hand. I take the Mavic Mini in my hand and put the flat mount exactly in between these two lines. And I also make sure it's not way too up or way too down below because I do not want any stability issues to come when I'm flying this thing. So once that's done, I put my thumb in and press the flat mount firmly to the Mavic Mini. I want to make sure that all the edges are stuck and I don't want my GoPro to fall off when it's in flight. And even if this thing works, I don't want any other casualty to happen. So just doing this again and again, at least for three or four times. So once you're sure that the whole thing is set and it's firm, just put the Mavic Mini aside and take the GoPro. I take the fusion mount, I unhook the screw and attach the GoPro to the mount and once the GoPro is in the mount, I screw it up and once this is done, this fusion mount will go over the flat mount. So all I need to do is flip up this rubber, squeeze this in and then that's it. It's in. And then as you can see, this was the setup that I'm talking about. This is how the setup looks like guys. So the only thing that's left to do is to see if this can fly. Also guys, a piece of advice, if you're trying this setup at your home, do not try it until you have a coverage plan for your GoPro and for your Mac Mini. You don't want your GoPro to be falling off when this particular setup is in flight. So with that being said, let's see if this can actually fly. Okay guys, let's be honest, I never thought the Mavic Mini could even fly with the GoPro suite over it, but it did manage to fly and I got some cool shots with it. But everything wasn't so smooth and perfect with this particular setup and there are certain things that you have to keep in mind if you want to try this. First, technically you have to register this setup with the FAA because it crosses the 250 grams limit. This setup overall weighs over 400 grams. The problem that I faced while I was flying this particular setup is I kept getting this error max power load capacity reached. I've tried this particular setup with three different batteries and for every battery the first 15 minutes was smooth. I got no error whatsoever, the drone flew to high altitudes and I got all the crazy shots that I wanted. But after 15 minutes 
due to the error, the Mavic Mini automatically descended towards the ground and it almost hit the ground until I made sure that I landed it safely. And this error might also be due to the GoPro's weight over the Mavic Mini. Also guys, remember, you can't change the angles of your GoPro once it is in flight. So set the angle of your GoPro to whichever angle you want to shoot in before you left off. So this is what I noted from this basic setup guys. This basic setup has a lot of imperfections, so make sure you have the coverage plan as I mentioned earlier if you're going to try something like this. So this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. I hope you did like this video. If you did like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. Also let me know down in the comments if you have ever tried something like this. So I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe and peace.